It's Wednesday. It's time for our weekly trip to the new zoo. Carmen Murak joins us now live from Swamico. Good morning, Carmen. Hi, How are Carmen. you? Hi, I'm good. How are you guys doing? Great. Who do you have with you today? Well, I'm here with a brand new animal. This is actually a new species to our zoo. Um, a little blue diker, which is the tiniest of the antelope. It's a animal that uh, would be found in Central and South Africa. Um, and they're, they're teensy weensy. It's about the size of a house cat. Really? Oh, really? That little? Is it Look a, at those legs. Did you say he or she? It's a he's a little boy. He's okay. a year and a half old. So this is a full grown male. Um, his name is Rocco. And uh, he's, like I say, he's very new here. He just arrived Thursday. We've got lots of little hiding areas for him and we've got extra fencing up around this exhibit just to help him feel comfortable they're being so small they're very popular as prey items and uh, so they tend to be skittish little animals but he's adjusting really well he's uh, been been doing a good job with uh, being comfortable with visitors being up close to this fence and and, and looking mm. at him he seems very comfortable where'd you get him carmen he actually came from the Kansas City Zoo. I met them halfway. A halfway point was Cedar Rapids, Iowa. So they drove him that far, and then I met them there and picked him up. And he's doing okay so far? Yeah, he's, he's doing great. He's, he's out and about. Uh, you know, like I say, he doesn't seem to be nervous about visitors looking at him. He's a little nervous about the zookeepers coming into the exhibit, so we have to give him lots of space. But uh, we set up lots of hide areas. We'll be as he gets more comfortable taking down some of this extra fencing and, and moving some of the hiding spaces around. But he's, I've, I've been very impressed with how willing he is to be out in the open all day long. Are there a lot of these guys in, um, in the world? or? Actually, they're doing okay in the yeah. wild. They're such small animals, you know, almost kind of like bunny rabbits, that they are pretty good at. The, the, the name diker, in fact, is, uh, means diver. They dive into brush. They live in forests or brushy areas, um, so they're they're doing pretty well in the wild. Um, although, of course, like many animals, are having some problems with uh, habitat destruction. Um, there are only 51 of these guys in AZA zoos, however. Oh, oh. well, I've never seen one. I mean, this is a That's first cool. for me. I imagine for a lot of our viewers too. And if people go to the zoo to see him, to see Rocco, where? What part of the zoo are you in? We're, we're here, um, we're, we're right in front of the wattled crane exhibit oh, by our sure. African water hole um, with the giraffes in the background. And so it's, it looks like Africa here, sort of, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> oh, very good. Carmen, thanks for joining us. We'll check back with you next hour, okay? All right, see you later. Thanks, Carmen.